Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of prehistoric times to explore one of the most intriguing and terrifying creatures to have ever existed, Titanoboa. Imagine a snake as long as a full-size school bus ruling the swampy jungles of South America 60 million years ago. Titanoboa, the apex predator of its time, dominated its primeval environment with unmatched size and power. But what if Titanoboa, the most giant snake ever discovered, was still alive today? Join us as we journey through time and space to uncover the story of Titanoboa and speculate on its potential impact on our modern world. The Green Anaconda Let's take a closer look at Titanoboa's modern-day counterpart, the Green Anaconda. Inhabiting the warm jungles of the Amazon, the Green Anaconda is one of the largest and heaviest snakes in South America and the world. With lengths reaching up to 9 meters, this formidable predator lurks in shallow rivers and flooded grasslands, camouflaging itself expertly to ambush prey. Its hunting strategy involves suffocating its victims by constriction, making it a top predator in its environment. The Paleocene Epoch Prehistoric Era Now let's travel back in time to the Paleocene Epoch, which began approximately 66 million years ago. During this period, the Earth was significantly hotter and more humid than it is today, with abundant CO2 in the atmosphere. This was a time when our planet was experiencing dramatic environmental changes, setting the stage for the rise of colossal predators like Titanoboa. The Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event At the end of the Cretaceous period, a catastrophic event known as the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG, extinction event occurred. This event, likely caused by a significant asteroid impact in modern-day Mexico, led to widespread devastation. However, amidst this devastation, a new apex predator emerged in the warmest, wettest corners of South America. Titanoboa The Rise of Titanoboa Following the catastrophic KPG extinction event, the Earth's climate became significantly hotter and more humid. The jungles of South America flourished, providing the perfect environment for Titanoboa to thrive. Dense jungles exploded in the wetlands of Colombia, Venezuela and Brazil, nourished by almost daily precipitation. Under these conditions, cold-blooded animals like Titanoboa flourished, reaching sizes never seen before. Titanoboa emerged as the apex predator, dominating its primeval world with unmatched size and power. Titanoboa's Characteristics Based on approximately 30 specimens and other ecological data, paleontologists estimate that Titanoboa stretched a remarkable 13 meters long. This made it not only the longest snake ever discovered, but also a formidable predator. With a weight upwards of 1,000 kilograms, Titanoboa far surpassed even the heaviest modern-day anacondas. Its sheer size and power made it the undisputed king of the primeval world. Causes of Extinction Approximately 34 million years ago, the Earth experienced its first significant period of global cooling and glaciation. Ice sheets around the planet's poles expanded, atmospheric cota levels dropped, and temperatures decreased significantly. These colder conditions threatened large cold-blooded animals like Titanoboa, lowering their body temperatures and slowing their metabolisms. The changing climate, combined with habitat loss and other environmental factors, may have contributed to the eventual extinction of Titanoboa. Hypothetical Scenario If Titanoboa somehow survived all these hurdles and still existed in the world today, its impact may be as profound as it is unpredictable. Apex predators like Titanoboa have a tremendous influence on food chains, promoting ecological balance by reducing populations of smaller prey. For example, if Titanoboa were alive today, its presence may impact populations of swamp dwellers like turtles and crocodiles. 
Over millions of years, it's impossible to predict how one apex predator might influence the evolution of the natural world. The modern day habitat. Titanoboa could hypothetically live today in places like the forested swamps of the southern United States, such as the Atchafalaya Swamp in Louisiana, or the subtropical wetlands of southern Florida, like the Everglades. These areas resemble Titanoboa's ancient habitat, with warm temperatures and abundant prey. However, if Titanoboa had survived the modern era, it would likely have evolved and adapted to its changing environment. And there you have it, the incredible story of Titanoboa, brought to you by Animal Farm. From its dominance in the primeval jungles of South America, to its potential survival into the modern era, Titanoboa continues to fascinate and captivate our imaginations. While we may never encounter this colossal snake in our lifetime, its legacy lives on in the fossils and stories that remind us of Earth's ancient past. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Animal Farm for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious.